How awesome is that weather? That's because I live in Australia, one of the continents. And today's demos, we'll be doing some demos with continental data to help you explore analytic functions some more. Enjoy the video. These are short two minute sessions, really designed to help you teach you analytics by solving real problems, not just giving you syntax guides. In this session, we're going to look at the partition clause for the first time. Let's do a 10 second recap on the previous couple of videos. We've covered the sorting clause and the functions, and these are some of the functions we've already covered. And we looked at using an inline view when applying a predicate to the result of an analytic. So for example, looking at from the previous video, we ranked the size of the planets, and if we want to use that size rank column in a predicate, we would wrap it in an inline view. We're going to make use of those things today to solve our next requirement. So today we're focusing on this new feature, the partition clause. It's partitioning the data. Now, I stress, this is unrelated to the Oracle partitioning option, which is about physically separating a table into different segments. Partitioning the data from an analytic perspective is taking data like you see here, choosing some column or expression in which you want to group the data into subsets. So if I chose job, I effectively want to reshuffle the data so it looks a bit like this, and then apply some analytics to each of those subsets. So the requirement for today's session is only the three highest populated countries per continent, and because it came from your manager, they need it ASAP. The key phrases you're looking for when you're thinking about using the partition clause is things like per, like per continent, or by department. When a request comes in like that, what they're suggesting is you want to group the data into subsets based on some sort of column or expression in the table. We're then going to apply the same analytic function to each of those different subsets of the data. And subsets is the same as partitions in this case. So let's look at our sample data for today. I've got a countries table and it's got the population and the continent and obviously the name of each country. And you can see I've ordered the data by continent so we can see the groupings by continent in this case. Now what I could do is actually run my standard analytic functions with no partition clause and I simply apply a where clause for each of the continents. So I could run this query for Africa and get the top three, then I could run it for Oceania and get the top three, and then I could run it for Europe and get the top three, and so on and so on, and bring all those results together. But obviously that's not particularly an efficient way of doing it. We're gonna use the partition clause to achieve the same thing. We partition the data and then we apply the analytic function. And it's as easy as this. You can see all I've done is add the partition by continent into my analytic function, and as you can see, the population rank 1, 2, and 3 is now applied within each continent, not across the entire set of the data. You can run these scripts by yourself by clicking on the Live SQL link below. In the next session, we'll look at more partitioning examples to make you more familiar with how it's used. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all again soon. Don't forget to keep it simple with SQL.